Welcome to this uh, presentation and uh, tutorial of the Ongaku software. Ongaku is the sister panel of the Bento synthesizer, the Japanese box, and uh, it shares with Bento some um, common characteristics in the generators, even though they are different. And, uh, but it takes um, a completely different approach, which in some ways mixes the Bento paradigm with the West Coast uh, classic style synthesizer like Bukla. Now the Bento software is divided in two main panels. The uh, upper panel, which features the four identical agents. And I, I will explain you uh, in a short time what an agent is. And then in the lower section we have a clock with um, scales, uh, octaves and generative parameters, and a reverb and a 24 dB low pass filter. And the filter is before the reverb um, as a master control. Now, um, let's uh, first of all hear some examples from the uh, um, patterns I have made here, from the presets I have made here, in order to understand the possibilities and uh, characteristics of the sound of Ongaku. Ongaku has a generative engine, actually. There is no sequencer or MIDI going on in this time. Of course, you can control it with MIDI. I will explain you later. But it was made to self-generate patterns with, with generative clocks and uh, scales. As you can hear, we can um, create uh, atmospheric sounds as well as rhythmic bongo style sounds in very bukla style. And also, as you can hear, there are some noises that resemble the sounds of a bento because we have um, generators which are similar to those used in bento, but not identical. As you will see, ben uh, Ongaku is um, a very great tool to create uh, atmospheric sounds, soundscapes, and sound effects, sound design for movies or video games or your music. There are no samples. It's all uh, synthesized inside the software. Mm -hmm. 
and we can um, pass from noises to um, gentle ambient patterns which somehow they remind me of some of Brian Eno's work like Apollo Atmospheres or again go into the bookish West Coast sound of blips and blobs short trip into the presets with this kind of crowd patch. The whole system uh, was quite uh, inspired by the crowd patch. I was um, able to, to create on my 200E Bukla. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have four different generators and four RPGs and other things which reminds me of the Bukla Paradigm, especially the 200E series. So okay, let's start to talk about the agents starting from this event horizon, which you can use as a sort of default um, um, preset. Turning down the volume here of the three <coughs> agents, leaving just this one. So an agent is nothing like nothing else that a generator here with uh, an LPG and uh, AD envelope, another uh, amplifier, but this time is probabilistic amplifier, a delay which is a probabilistic delay, and a balance between the dry signal and the delay signal, and the. Uh, you can use uh, those four identical uh, agents uh, just like drones for example you can open the LPG and close this uh, amplifier which is is created to you will see to, to uh, create random um, uh, amplifications of the sound and um, we have uh, two different kind of oscillators the first oscillator is in this way is a simple sinusoidal or uh, so tooth shape. Okay, let's take down the reverb and the folding and FM. Of course, the waveform is not perfectly. Um, sinusoidal that's because of the simulation of the uh, analogous circuits and let's open the cutoff here okay so we have just a sinusoidal more or less a sinusoidal sound which sounds uh, pretty warm uh, and nothing else now um, you have a frequency control here which is manual and then you have a control for the um, uh, for the scales for the uh, modulation given by the scales so when you want to use the scales and, uh, and the clock you turn the frequency fully down you open this one and then you turn out the clock. Now the clock 
this is the master clock and then you have a probabilistic um, clock divider that will um, make sound the clock according to a probability between 0 and 100 at each uh, trigger of this one and uh, this one go is uh, working for uh, uh, agents 1 and 3 and this one is working for agents 2 and 4 and after this one you have another probabilistic uh, divider of course if you turn those uh, fully clockwise you have just a clock and then I can decide as the probabilities of this one and then of this one in particular um, of course here we have the LPG so we close the LPG and now we use the envelope and each time you use the clock with the scales for example uh, you can decide the uh, octave And here you have a transposition. Now the envelopes are not deterministic. Keep in mind that many controls here are not deterministic but rather probabilistic. So when we have the AD controls at this value, for example, this is the maximum a time of the attack and decay, but not the minimum. It goes uh, randomly. So these are not um, uh, stating the exact value of the time, but rather the maximum value they can uh, achieve during the triggering. After this LPG, we have this uh, probabilistic amplifier, which is useful when we want to um, move the amplification of the sound in a generative way, so that it's not always at full volume, but it can go down or up. Uh, this will be especially useful when you use all the four um, agents and you will see that by leaving the amplification go up and down in a, a generative way you will have more uh, organic sound, more uh, changing sound. Of course, you can use a value in, in the middle. Of course, we have uh, some folding here. And the FM value coming from um, the modulation coming from the uh, agent number two. So, one and two can cross modulate each other and 3 and 4 can cross-modulate each other in FM only when this is in a, a classic oscillator mode but when we switch this up we, we get uh, a new type of oscillator which is a chaotic oscillator which in, in many ways is in, has something in common with the oscillator of uh, Bento and these parameters are not anymore the frequency in the modulation, the frequency modulation and folding but rather they control four different parent parameters of the chaotic uh, equation of uh, differential equation inside the software So they are very useful to create very strange sounds, also modulating sounds.
Uh, when you are in um, chaotic oscillator mode, this switch doesn't work anymore. But when you are in uh, classic oscillator, this switch will turn the waveform between sinusoidal and sawtooth. Okay, now let's talk about the delay. Um, the delay is probabilistic. This one is the probability that each time we have a trick, we have a different delay time. This is the maximum value of the probabilistic delay. And this is the balance between dry and wet signal. This is, of course, the feedback. And this is interesting because it creates a kind of organic reaction of the software to the delay. So with this control I can decide the octave. Only when we are using the clock, of course. And then we have some more random here, because I can change uh, gen with generative action the, um, for example, the octave. This is a probability. And then the octave, you see, they change according to this probability. And then we can change also the envelope. Of course, this is the probability that such thing happens. And we can change also the folding. And the panning here. And uh, we can finally sum the different generators here. And here we have our reverb, which can create uh, very uh, spacey sounds. And the master low pass filter. To record the sound in uh, Bento, in Ongaku, you can use the tape, internal tape recorder, which now we are using here uh, for uh, uh, the demo. You just set here the length of the tape in seconds, and then you press record, and then you export the file. And you can add also some tape simulations here with different 
uh, values of background noise, input level, and saturation of the of the, so of the sound. So, this pretty much sums everything. Um, as you can see, it's not very difficult to use it. It's a bit different from our traditional synthesizers, especially because we have a mirrored layout here, which can be confusing at first, but um, in reality it's quite simple and it's stunning how the software can create uh, such organic and uh, interesting sounds which are I think perfect for sound design and soundscape and ambient or noise music So just remember, you have four agents, four master volumes of the agents and pan, uh, reverb, filter, and generative clock with generative dividers here, which helps you to create inside the software without the need of any sequencer or MIDI information. Um, interesting patterns. Uh, one thing is that I think that you will find useful is that, uh, for example, you can use your MIDI keyboard. Uh, we have here the MIDI setup. Uh, you can choose your MIDI keyboard here. And each time you press any key, any, it doesn't matter what key, but each time you press a key, you will trigger one generative um, engine of the agents so you can use your keyboard to actually play the thing without playing notes but generating notes according to the scale you have chosen here or of course you can use the internal clock and see what what happens Of course, you can save and load user presets here, and you have um, a feature here for MIDI mapping and keyboard, um, computer keyboard mapping. You press this one, and then you can map, just like Ableton Live, uh, your controller. Then you press ESC, and you turn to the, you back to the normal mode. This is for the keyboard, and. Um, this is to save and load the mapping you have created and nothing more so uh, this is the zoom factor of the window and this is the tape recorder and this is of course the audio settings of the software remember to keep the IO vector size and signal vector size to an acceptable level. If it, this goes too low, it can glitch or uh, stop the sound. And uh, here you have your audio interface. If you change the audio interface, just remember to turn off and on back again this driver or this one. 
so that the uh, the audio interface is initialized. Um, this is everything, and I thank you for being here. And I hope you did enjoy the uh, illustration of the soft the, the, the this demo. And um, you can try, of course, for free the software downloading it from my website at this moment we have only the macintosh version and the windows version will uh, be released in about three or four weeks maximum uh, thank you for being here and see you soon with a new software have fun <laughs>